Um, good morning. I am calling because I was supposed to be scheduled to be induced um, by Dr. Del Boca today. Um, but I don't know. I guess he just knew. Um, I'm already getting contractions, like really heavy. They're between three to four minutes apart. <laughs> You're a neighbor. They, they can't say no now. I would just bring everything and come on in. Okay. Sounds okay. good. All right. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you. All right. Bye. I'm going to the hospital. So as every good patron, um, I have to still pack my bag. Um, yeah, we should go to the hospital. Let's go. This is enough lollygagging. Um, I don't know what I'm doing right now. This bag, the baby stuff. Uh, welcome to the vlog, I guess. Come on, baby. You can do it. I believe in you. I believe. Contractions are about a minute apart now. Things are getting closer and closer. Um, the hospital's right around the corner, so we, we got that going for us. Uh, follow us as we try to figure out ballet and all that it's because I need to run inside of here. I don't got time to park. What's wrong with you? Uh, what do you want to know? Uh, I don't know what it says contraction here. I don't know what these things mean. Steffi's a freaking trooper. She's making it happen. And uh, right now, she might not be amused, but when she goes back and sees this, maybe she'll remember. I wore my pink shirt. Just kidding, it's a boy. And uh, we, we decided on a name for the baby. So we're excited about that. It's crazy to think that we're dealing through this moment, which is, it's hard to see my wife like this, even though she makes it look super easy. But that as soon as this baby comes out, he's gonna be another bundle of joy. He's gonna fill our house with laughter and stuff. I'm gonna stop there before I get emotional. My baby's gonna fill up this space right here. This little footprint is gonna be right there. I'm gonna cut his umbilical cord. This is probably as much as we'll record. I need to be attentive to my wife now and the doctors and stuff. Uh, we can't record during the delivery, so obviously you're not going to see any of that. But you might see a placenta, and uh, you might see the baby fresh out of the womb. So, see you guys then. So, uh, we had one of the best doctors here uh, to give uh, epidural or whatnot. So the doctor convinced Steffi to get epidural, and uh, I think she's in heaven. I am. <laughs> you feel good? I feel very good. And my legs feel warm. I was freezing. It feels so good to stay warm. Bro. <laughs> We've been saying epidural for the longest and you kept saying no, epidural, epidural. Because I didn't trust anyone. But Dr. Del Boca said he's one of the best and I trust him. <laughs> so. Uh, Steffi's been having uh, these pretty big contractions. She had one of her biggest ones up here and she felt it at like a two. Have you felt these other contractions? Nope. Good job, baby. This baby's coming soon. Uh, the doctor should set any any minute now. I am so tired. It's uh, Chris's birthday, by the way. So happy birthday, Chris. Hope you're uh, enjoying your day just as much as Steffi is. <laughs> now I am. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, see you guys when the baby's here. Sorry. Hey, guys. Happy. Papi. Yeah, yeah, boy. Hi, Gogo. Hi, Gogo. Congratulations, you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you. Made it look really good. Thank you. Hey, buddy. You wanna go see mommy now? Hmm? You wanna give mommy a hug? The baby looks so good in the tracing. Right? The baby was did so good in the tracing. They was like... It's a matter of weight, it's a matter of time. All right, you did a great. Thank you. You did great. Thank you so much, Dr. I appreciate it, man. Good too, Thank you. Look at how pink it is. Mom's with us. She was the first one to see the baby. Because she's been waiting for like hours. I'm sorry. Um, I can't seem to get the food tray down. 
Oh, sorry. we got it. We got it. I got it. My so. boy. Mira. Mira, baby. No, baby, no <laughs> quiere papita, <laughs> mi amor. Gracias. Mira tu hermanito, mi corazón. You're so crusty, bro. Hi, everybody. Can I say hi to your wife? Oh my God. I don't like it, but I had to say hi. Oh, thank you. What is it? Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Was I right? What? What it is? I was right. <laughs> Oh my god. Hey. Will you come in through? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I didn't just get that for you. <laughs> she's been dying to try these things. She started in your vlog and she's like, oh, where are Which one's the best? To me, the green tea. It's mango. Oh, no, orange, orange. Oh, What's this one? Work. Strawberry. Yeah. What's that one? Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> the worst flavors, dude. <laughs> it has been a pretty long day. It is 1.34 in the morning. And uh, this little guy is chilling the grill. Isn't that right, buddy? Debbie has been heck of a trooper. She's feeling a little bit better. Um, Levi has been a good boy. Bless Tell you. you. And uh, we're really, really, really tired. <laughs> I'm like through two Red Bulls right now, and uh, I'm, I'm okay. I'm doing okay. Not that bad. Hey, what do you think, bro? Are you happy? You on away, brother. You on away. Uh, we had some of our friends and family pass by today. It was great, and uh, tomorrow we're expecting some others. So, yeah, it's been good. Thank you guys for uh, watching this beautiful miracle of birth, which is incredible. I can't explain it in words of how incredible it is to have another baby part of our family. See you guys tomorrow. Look. I'm not scared this time. I was scared the first time. <laughs> Steffi's here. She's okay. You're okay, right baby? You got this. I'm scared to sit there. You can sit. Just bend your knees. There you go. See? ta -da! 12.39, it's Wednesday, we're out of here. No, no, actually, actually we're not. We're not, we're not out of here. That's the bottom line. Day two, we might be here a little longer than we were supposed to, but we don't know yet. So the bottom line is, Steffi might have the flu or something. They gave her exams yesterday and supposedly she was good, but uh, clearly she's not. So this morning they took more tests. Since Steph doesn't have veins for anything, they went and poked her everywhere. Steph doesn't like help. This is why I'm not helping her. No, it's not that. It just doesn't make a difference. <laughs> uh, she has to go shower really fast now because they only gave her like 20 minutes to shower. So Now, as you can see, probably the biggest problem here is the fact that the baby's not here. So Steffi's been a little emotional about not having Levi with us. And on top of that, Mario isn't with us. So. Who's Mario? Mario. <laughs> <laughs> Matthew, I'm not she's not the only one that's delirious. I'm delirious too. That's that's the situation. I, I, I don't know what else to show you guys. I'm gonna I'm gonna go help my wife now. <laughs> uh, we'll we'll patch you guys in as soon as we know when our son's gonna come back. It's been it's been a few hours. He left around nine. Um, and it's now 12, seems like forever. I went to go see him in the nursery. The good thing is only Matthew's there. Uh, only Levi's there, so uh, he's being taken care, really good care of. Oh, and look at this. Uh, some grandmas came by, um, offering like to make handmade hats and bracelets and stuff. And uh, this was five bucks, but uh, we thought it was so cute. Oh, I was here uh, watching uh, YouTube because they took forever trying to stab my wife. You know, there's this ongoing thing 
there's a certain group of people that really want uh, Steph and I to bleed a certain color. Well, this is certainly a, certainly a way to get us to bleed blue. Even the blue flowers are dead. <laughs> Steph! Serious, look at that. You're so crusty. Anyways, you guys are the best. Thank you so much. So Steffi's doing a little bit better, which is good. Um, they, they did a more in-depth, secure flu test and <laughs> all the stabs were for nothing because she doesn't have the flu. This means two things. It means the baby should be with us very soon. Um, but this also means something's wrong with Steph. I don't know if, I don't know. Doctors are trying to figure it out. But they just wanted to make sure that it wasn't the flu because she was giving all the flu symptoms because for Levi, that would be lethal uh, because his little body technically should not be able to take it. Hence why you gotta be really careful with babies when you come visit them. I don't know, hospitals sometimes are weird because uh, they might know a little bit more than they tell you because there might be something going on. Uh, that's what has me a little worried, but I don't know. Oh, I haven't shown you guys. Get a little of this. The mic broke off. <laughs> I did not break it. I'm to see. Look at that. Pathetic. It's supposed to be straight. All right, we'll show you guys an update as soon as Levi comes back. Because from this point, that's really what we're waiting for. Levi's back. Yay! Bobby's happy. I think Levi's happy that he's back with the family. Uh, we're excited because Levi's back, and um, things are. They seem to be back to normal. They told Steffi that uh, she didn't have the flu, which is great. Um, but now we gotta figure out what is wrong because she has a fever and stuff. We'll be back. Mm, I'm sorry. Mm, mm, I just wanna clean you up. I'm sorry, babe, thank you. Mm, mm, oh, oh, it's okay. Oh, it's all right. It's all right. Levi, where are you going? <laughs> Levi. <laughs> I know it ain't that bad. Come on, cutie patootie. Come on, cutie patootie. You pass gas? <laughs> or was that the crib? Did you pass gas or was that the crib? You bet I be passing no gas and pooping on me. Okay, we don't know each other that well. Eli, Levi. You ought to be ashamed. You deserve a pow pow. Look at all this fuss you cause. For nothing. Levi, I barely did anything. All I did was give you a bath. I gotta get the right temperature, Levi. Gotta leave. Now you don't have anything to say, huh? Yeah, that's right. Turn your head. Turn your head. You're doing good. You put your hand down. All right, all right, all right. Calm your horses. I'm done. And I got my hair clean. So fresh and so clean, clean. There you go, sweetie. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Oh, go, you got to be one of the toughest people to come back. Right. <laughs> so, so, she's going to attempt the whole day. It's a beautiful Friday and uh, we're enjoying the day. It is day four in the hospital. Hopefully we get out tomorrow. Um, Steffi's feeling a little bit better. <laughs> sure, like, it's, a, it's a lot of work. <laughs> so, when you thought you saw it all, uh, so this peculiar blue machine isn't really anything crazy. It's literally just giving the baby some sunlight. Generally, a baby would have to go outside and do some kind of sunbathing during the morning or the evening, um, not during the strong sun in the afternoon. Um, which is something that we still do with uh, with Matthew and, and we will do with our baby because it's good for them to get some sun. So he's in here, he has to be here overnight. He's quite comfortable, but Matthew's, Matthew, uh, Steffi's helping Levi uh, hold the pacifier. I'm re I'm getting really confused with names. I'm, I'm really bad with names. So pretty sure 
that we are in the most peculiar situation that any nurse or doctor has been here in the maternity wing in, ba in Baptist because nobody really knows what Steffi has. But Steffi's okay. She just gets these random fevers that people can't figure out. Doctors can't figure out why she's getting them. Um, so we're waiting for those results. She got a fever today again, so we're not getting B released this weekend, most likely. Um, we're just, we're waiting. We might, we might leave next week. <sighs> it's stressful, but uh, I guess it is, it is what it is, you know. Uh, we ordered some food because we got tired of hospital food. See you guys soon. Oh, you can't even see the nice view outside. Oh, hello. Gosh, this car is full of yellow stuff. What is all this? Gunk. Woo! It has been a while. Welcome back, folks. Happy Sunday. We're still in the hospital, as you saw. And uh, we should be heading out. We hope, we hope we will be heading out very soon. So far, Steph has gone with no fever for about 24 hours. We're crossing our fingers that it'll turn into 48. Things are semi back to normal. Not, not really. I mean, I took the week off from work, and my microphone just fell off, so audio is probably completely out. See you guys soon. I gotta put a new mic on this on this contraption. Goodness gracious! So I've been struggling with this mic um, forever. Ugh, look at this. Hello, and welcome to this vlog. And this is what I this is what I have to deal with. I decided to upgrade to something a little bit better, so we'll see how the sound changes. Hopefully, it changes. I'm about to go to school soon. I'm about um, to go to school soon. <laughs> I'm about to go to church soon, and then back to the hospital, um, where hopefully Steppy is very close to heading out because I miss my house, bro. I miss my home. I miss my home. All right, let's see how this works. Broken mic. New mic. I put this uh, windscreen on. We'll see how. We'll see how it goes. It's actually called a dead cat. This is the, for those of you who are interested, the Sure VP83 lens hopper. Happy Sunday. I already said that. Uh, going to church. I already said that. I'm going to church now. See you guys there. Just wanted to make sure that this mic was operational and working because it looks damn professional. So that is the vlog for today. We are super excited because we have a new family member in our life. He is super hungry right now. So before we do any type of feeding, we just wanted to say goodbye. All right, Levi, say goodbye. Thank you guys for following us and make sure you leave a comment. Make sure you guys subscribe if you aren't part of the family. And uh, tomorrow, well, tomorrow might be the day. We're not sure. What we do know is that we want to get out of here ASAP. So next vlog, hopefully we're out of here and you guys will be able to see that. So peace. Love you guys. Have a good one. Or did you just pass gas?